Hello and welcome to another episode of Memento Mount Today. In this episode, we'll be covering the origins of three common Canadian apples, the Macintosh, Jonah Gold, and September Ruby apple cultivars. We will first talk about the Macintosh. John Macintosh discovered the original Macintosh apple tree in 1811. The young tree was found in the overgrown part of his orchard in his Dundella farm based in Ontario. Based on genetic evidence, it is likely that the Macintosh is a hybrid between the apple cultivar, the apple cultivar snow, and an unnamed descendant of the apple cultivar apai. The family greatly prized these apples, and John's son Alan is credited for grafting this cultivar onto winter hardy stock. By 1835, Alan was growing the Macintosh and selling both the trees and the fruit in both Ontario and United States. By the late 19th and early 20th century, the Macintosh became a key cultivar of Canada and one of the six major founders of modern cultivars. The Apai apple is the ear tree that was brought to Rome from the island of Philoponesus off the coast of southern Greece by the consul Apias Claudius. It was either that or it was a wild or feral seedling found in France in the forest of Apai. Regardless of its origin, it's a good apple with a mild but refreshing flavor, akin to a more refreshing version of Red Delicious. The cultivar came to UK in the late 15th century. From there, it came to the New World under the name Lady. The snow apple is also known as Famous and is either a seedling of American origin or French import. Hello, I just want to let you know, if you want to fund this channel, you can do so on the platforms seen in the description below. Next, we'll cover the origins of Jonah Gold. Half of its pedigree stems from Golden Delicious, which was covered in a previous episode. The other half stems from Essesburg Spitzenberg. This cultivar was discovered in the mid-1700s as a feral seedling growing along the banks of the Hudson River, near the village of Esopus, now known as now known as Ulster County, New York. The Esopus Spitzenberg was said to be either of Swiss or Dutch origin and was a popular apple during the 16th and 17th century. Ironically, the cultivar was overtaken by its progeny, Jonathan, which was a seedling of the Esopus Spitzenberg. The, J the Jonathan apple cultivar was found in the 1800s. There's two possible origins that are known when it comes to the origin of the Jonathan. The first possibility was found on the farm of the New York farmer, Philip Rick, and was named after Jonathan Hasbrook, a high-ranking member of the Albany Horticultural Society. Another possibility is that it was found on Rachel Higley Cider Mill in Connecticut, and she named it after her husband, Jonathan. In either case, the cultivar has become one of the six major founders of modern cultivars, including Joanna Gold and the cold hearty cultivar Wealthy. Wealthy itself has become a key founder cultivar within Minnesota. This cultivar is a crossbreed between Duchess of Oldenburg and Jonathan. Which brings us to the final cultivar we'll be talking about, September Ruby. Within the prairie provinces of Canada, few cultivars have long storage capabilities and consistent cold hardiness. Amongst these privileged few is the cultivar September Ruby. As a consequence, this cultivar became popular within the prairie provinces as a result of this cultivar having cold hardiness down, cold hardiness down to zone 2, the ability to be stored for 4 months, and resistance to fire blight. From a pedigree perspective, half of its pedigree comes from the cultivar rescue, a cold hardy cultivar that is said to be descended from the cultivar blush Calville. This cultivar was bred for breeding purposes in 1933 specifically for cold hardiness. The other half of the pedigree stems from the Minnesota Breeding Program at the University of Minnesota. Harlson is a popular apple cultivar in Minnesota. It is a hybrid between a heirloom apple called Melinda, a cultivar discovered in Vermont, and Wealthy. September was bred in the modern research station of Agriculture Canada by the plant breeder C.R. Urey. It was bred by crossbreeding the Harlson cultivar of Minnesota with the rescue cultivar of Saskatchewan. And that's the origins of three more cultivars. And that book covers everything. Thank you for watching.